Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can add people to your uh, photos in Adobe Photoshop. This is something that, uh, that I see um, people trying to do all the time and it's uh, really hard to make it look good. So let me uh, show you a few tips and uh, techniques that you can use to, uh, to try to do this a little bit better. Alright, so the first thing that you need to do is open up your image in Adobe Photoshop, which I have one here. It's a nice family image with uh, <clears throat> all the members of the family, except uh, maybe maybe they have a, 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 a niece or a daughter that they want to add to this picture that was gone during this photo session. Um, so what I've done is I've found an image of, um, of a girl, and we'll pretend like she's part of the family and that we're going to add her to the picture. <clears throat> All right, so I've already cut her out of her image in uh, in Photoshop and I'll go I'll uh, provide you a link um so that you know how to do that. <clears throat> I'll link to another one of my tutorials. All right, and so we have her cut out and we're going to add her to this uh to this family portrait. So the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to try to get her to approximately the right size that we want. So I have, just to get started, I have her and I have the uh, the family image. And I'm going to go ahead and shrink her down a little bit. So I'm going to select her layer and I'm going to um, press Control T on the keyboard to bring up my transform tools. If uh, if you're having problems doing that, you can always go up to edit down to um, transform and uh, oh, actually here, just go to free transform and that'll uh, do the same thing. You'll want to hold shift on your keyboard and click and drag the corner to make her smaller. Kind of just drag her into a place that you might think you might be putting her eventually. I think her face is still a little big. You want to kind of compare her face and her features to uh, the, the face and features of the people in the photo. Um, right now her face is the biggest one in there and I'm going to be putting her in the back so her face probably needs to be smaller than the, the mom's face. Alright. So I'll go ahead and compare her to the mom actually and we'll go just a slightly smaller. And something like that's probably pretty good. So once you have about the right size picked out then you can just double click to make your uh, to apply your your change there <clears throat> and um, you can press the the selection tool to kind of move her into place and I'm gonna put her right about here I think so that it looks like she's laying back behind her brother or family member. Alright, um, need to brush back in a little bit of her t-shirt. It disappeared apparently when I was erasing, um, when I was cutting her out. Okay, <clears throat> you don't need to worry about that. <clears throat> okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to get her back behind her family. And this is uh, this is an area where I see a lot of people kind of make a mistake or, or where a lot of people could do this better. Um, what a lot of people do is they just start erasing away the girl but I think there's a better way to do it. I think uh, what we want to do is we want to take our image of our family <clears throat> and we want to take that layer which is our background and we want to click and drag it into the new layer button or you could press control J on your keyboard and what I want to do is I just want to sandwich the the, uh, the girl in between those two layers so you can see that I have the picture of the family on this top layer and if I um, take the visibility off of that you can see that the girls on the second layer down and then the background is this uh, the picture of the family once again. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually erase um, this top image to show the, the girl in the middle. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and on this new copied layer that we made, let's add a, a layer mask. So you go down to your layer mask button and click. And make sure your layer mask is selected. And go ahead and zoom in a little bit on the area that we're going to be erasing. So click your zoom tool in your toolbar. And zoom in and then click your eraser once again make sure that your uh, your layer mask is selected and what we're gonna want to do is get um, a fairly small brush let's go about 60 pixels you can you can see I'm changing the settings up at the top here there's a drop down arrow with a, a number and a brush size next to it click that drop down arrow change your brush size down to 60 or 70 or whatever um, is good for your image 
and change the hardness to somewhere around 50 or 60 percent as well. And what we're going to do is we're just going to brush in the area that we want that girl to be seen. So we don't want to erase any of the boy here, so I'm just going to kind of go around and erase everything but the, the boy pretty much because because we're going to see that uh, this background layer back behind this girl. Okay, so what I want to do is kind of erase this whole area to a certain degree. That way we can kind of move the girl around in a little bit and it's not going to matter too much. We can make our brush size a little bigger and hit this whole area, just stay away from the boy. All right, and then um, right around that boy's arm, you're going to really want to zoom in there. <clears throat> you're going to want to make your brush. You're going to, okay, so I selected my zoom tool and I zoomed in. And uh, go ahead and select your eraser tool again. Go up to the top and make the hardness of the eraser 80 or 90 percent. Make your brush size very small. Um, I'm going to use 30 pixels, but you might need to change for your image. Make sure you click on that uh, that layer mask again. And the reason we zoomed in is because we want to get really precise here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click somewhere where I want to start, like right here. I'm going to click, and I'm going to hold the shift key, go down a little ways, and then I'm going to click again. And that's going to just connect my uh, my erasing points there. So I'll kind of just do that around the boy's uh, features there. But I wanted to zoom in so I could get a really detailed eraser here. All right. And I'm not going to do a ton more because I want to try to keep this video at a reasonable length for you guys. But yeah, you want this is where you want to spend um, a lot of time doing this so that see as you can see, if you erase a little bit of the boy, you're going to start to see the girl um, kind of ghosted into the boy. So you're going to want to. You're going to have to brush that back in if, if that starts to happen. Okay? Anyway, I'm going to zoom out, and I've erased this top layer. I have her in the middle, and then I have a non-erased original family picture here. Okay? So I want to take the... Uh, I want to move her a little bit, so I'm going to click on her layer. And we can rename these layers, too. I'm going to rename this one girl, just so we know that that's the, the girl layer. And I'm going to um, press V on my keyboard to get my move tool, or you can go over to your toolbar. And I'm going to move her kind of in place to wherever I want. And we'll just put her right there for now. Okay, as you can see, um, the colors are way different from... Uh, <clears throat> their, their, the color of them is way different from her color. So we're, we need to try to match those a little bit. So what we can do is we can uh, select that girl layer. We can go down to our adjustment layers and we can add um, a hue and saturation and adjustment layer. And what we're going to kind of do is we're going to try to kind of match her to them and then we're going to try to kind of match them to her so that we can kind of meet both ways in the middle. All right. So we're going to take the saturation on her down because you can see that their images are a lot less saturated than hers. And we might bring the lightness up a little bit. Um, actually, let's not do that. As you can see, and you're going to have to mess around with this a little bit. As I started doing that, she started getting whited out a little bit, so I don't really want to mess around with the, the whiteness right now. All right, So I took the saturation down, and you can see that it's still not quite right, so uh, like I said, I'm going to try to meet in the middle a little bit, so I'm going to select their layer, and I'm going to, <clears throat> uh, and when I say their layer, I mean the, the top family layer, and I just renamed that family. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a photo filter. Uh, adjustment layer. So we did the same thing. We went down to adjustment layer and we selected photo filter and we added that on top of this family layer. <clears throat> One thing that you have to keep in mind is that these uh, adjustment layers, they're going to <clears throat> adjust any layer that they're on top of, meaning this hue and saturation layer is going to adjust to this girl layer and the background layer. This photo filter layer is going to adjust every single layer underneath of it. All right. So we've added this photo filter on top of the family we're going to make it a little bit orange to try to match the color of her skin a little bit. All right. We're going to move the density up quite a bit to around, let's go 75, no, 60%. Because we want it to look realistic, okay? 
So what you'll want to do, since, like I just said, that this photo filter is affecting every layer below it, you're going to have to select the layer mask on that photo filter layer, and then go over to your eraser tool and erase away any layers that you don't, or erase away any um, adjustment that you don't want on there. So I'm going to erase on top of this girl, obviously, because we want to try to match the, uh, the family to the girl, all right? So I have my eraser selected. Um, I want to change the hardness back down to a zero so that it just kind of blends a little bit better. So <clears throat> you can do that back up at the top once again, like we did before. And I'm just going to erase away some of these areas that I really don't need um, to be um, warmed up with that warming photo filter, all right? So pretty much everything other than the family, I'm going to kind of erase back. And since I'm using a very soft eraser, um, I can I can kind of be um, I don't have to be very exact with where I'm where I'm going. So you see, I, I erased them back in the the blue jeans because I wanted them to stay very blue. Okay, and you can kind of adjust the colors a little bit more. I'm going to bring it up a little bit more to maybe around that seventy. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Okay, and now you can kind of see that, um, that she's a little bit more contrasty, so maybe what we want to do is we'll add another adjustment layer above, um, and we'll do uh, brightness and contrast, and we'll try to play around with the contrast a little bit and see if we can get them a little more contrasty. And actually, there's a better way to do this, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that layer. And I'm going to add a, a curves adjustment layer instead of instead of that brightness and contrast. So let's add a curves adjustment layer. And I'm going to just do uh, what I like to call an S curve over here. So I'm going to make a point in the middle, a point in the top, and a point in the bottom. And I'm going to drag the point in the bottom down a little bit and the point in the top up a little bit. And that's just going to enhance the highlights and the lowlights of the picture. And like I said before, this is going to affect every layer below it. So what we want to do is we want to select the layer mask once again on that layer and erase away the girl and, uh, and that's pretty much it for this I think okay um, you can see that the lighting is a little bit different one thing that we might want to do is select our, our top family layer or actually select our girl layer that we have and we this is why we named them because we're starting to get a lot of layers we're gonna select our girl layer and we might want to just uh, grab our burn tool or actually our dodge tool and we might want to try to get some of the, the lighting matched up a little bit. All right, so I'm going to hit the, the, the left side of her face to kind of get it a little bit lighter, maybe her arm a little bit, okay? And just lighten it up a little bit. You want to keep the all these brushes very soft so that it blends well. Um, and I've gone a little overboard there, so I'm going to just go back into my history. If I go up to Window, down to History, and that'll bring up my history palette. I'm just going to take away some of the effect that I just added. Um, mostly in the face, I want to take it away. So actually, I think I have to go back pretty far. <clears throat> and I'll actually burn it back in a little bit. So that's the good thing about this tool. You, if you go a little overboard, you can always just burn back in some of the areas too. Um, but that's looking quite a bit better. Another thing that you can do, and this is the last thing I'm going to do because I think the video is getting kind of long, but uh, you can see that it's very light on, on, the, on the left side of their face, and she's not quite matching up yet, so you can add a layer, actually, and you can grab a brush and a white color, so you can just make your foreground color white, and you can actually, on this new layer, you can actually paint in with white and a very soft brush, you can paint in the areas that you want to lighten up. And this is kind of like the burn tool, but the thing that's nice about it is that um, you have control over, um, it's, it's on its own layer, so you can delete that layer instead of trying to go back in your history and that sort of thing. Okay, so I've done a couple things um, that I haven't told you about while I'm doing this. Um, I had my opacity set down to 25. I brought that up to 100. Because what I want to do after I add this these light areas in here at 100% is I'll just go up to filter on, on that layer, down to blur, down to Gaussian blur, and I'll just blur it until it um, until it looks realistic again. Alright. Let's just blur it about like 
maybe about like that, okay? 20 pixels. Um, like I said, we blur it till it looks realistic. That doesn't look realistic, so what we'll do is we'll take the opacity down on that layer to uh, 15%. And that's starting to look uh, a bit more realistic. We'll bring it up a little bit to 50, okay? And now it's, uh, <clears throat> now it's starting to get less realistic, so you might add a layer mask to that layer. And just erase the, away the parts that don't look realistic. You can kind of see a glow, so you just erase those parts, okay? And bring the opacity down slightly. Okay, and now at this point, it's starting to look a lot better. You might need to soften uh, her up around the edges a little bit. You can do that with a soft brush. Kind of just brush around her, uh, select her layer and her layer mask, her clipping, or yeah, her layer mask. And you can kind of just soften up around the edges a little bit if you need to. And if you do too much, you can always brush it back in. That's the great thing about those layer masks, okay? So that's starting to look pretty good. I'm not going to do any more because the video is getting kind of long here, and I'm sorry about that. Okay. But that's pretty much it. So I, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. I hope that uh, you can use some of the techniques that I've uh, gone over to... Uh, to try to add people to your pictures. I'll go ahead and show you the uh, the original that we started with. Okay, here, let me zoom in. So that's what we started with, and then uh, this is what we ended with after adding um, the girl to the picture. So you can see that it's quite a bit different. We've matched the colors a little bit. Um, there's certainly a lot more that needs to be done to add this particular girl. I chose this girl because it was a hard image to do and I thought it would be useful for you guys. So if you like this uh, this YouTube video, this tutorial, please click the like button on YouTube if you've made it through this far. Um, and thank you uh, once again for, for watching.